publications, as you know, have two kinds of life. They have the impact of their readership, and then they have the influence beyond their readership, whether it be in business or politics or academia. And Hinduism today is no different. Our readers uh, love it, of course, but part of the joy of producing the magazine is that we get to influence uh, opinions and policies. And for example, when Bill Clinton, then the President of the United States, was confronting the human cloning issue, he developed a Blue Ribbon Committee to explore the five major religions in America and how they look at human cloning from an ethical, religious point of view. And that committee came to us to write the paper for uh, Bill Clinton's review for Hinduism. And similarly, the Southern Texas Medical Association put out a book uh, called The Faith of Our Patients to describe the religious views of uh, 33 medical ethical issues. And they too came to the editorial staff at Hinduism Today to write that chapter, which we assembled from about 40 different sources around the world. And in that way, Hinduism Today is able to reach not just into the houses and uh, offices of the readers, but into the chambers of uh, more influential people.